the Republican convention? The Republican convention was a farce, a complete farce. I hate to say it, um, the Dems are more uh, organized right now than what the, the Republican oh, yeah. is. Far more organized. Oh, yeah, they are. They know how to party. They, they they know how to party. They really do. The Democrats really do know how to throw a party. They really do. And, you know, they got, they got, they, they're going to have um, uh, this, they got um, Lady Gaga. They have, they got a whole bunch of singers. They got Barbara Streisand. You got, uh, you have um, uh, Jane Fonda. You have all these other actors, entertainers coming out. Um, uh, of course they do, you know, because the liberals come out from the woodwork. You got Sean Penn, and then you got, um, and then you have um, who else do they have? George Clooney. Uh, so the the Democrats know how to throw a party. They really do. The Democrats throw a party. They really are. They're party people. That's what they are. You know, look at remember what happened during the the nomination during uh during the Obama regime. Four days. Of partiness, you know, and it shows you how the Democrats really are. They throw, they throw parties. They do it, and they like parties. They really do. They like, they like. Uh, we, the Republicans, are more of a work party. Okay, that's what we are. We, we, we don't party as much, but we, uh, we spend our money conservatively. We don't buy entertainment the way our Democrats do. We don't buy the superstars. Well, that's, just, that's the difference between the Republicans. You see, I'm not here to bash anybody. All I'm doing is giving you of what is happening uh, as far as culture goes. Why, uh, why, why Donald Trump could use other celebrities and the maximum and and to allow old votes, even though. Uh, uh, the, e, e, even though the 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 um the the, nom the it was already passed a nomination, but let every single vote count. Let everybody talk. Let everybody speak what they want to have. Let them allow them to have their voice be heard. That's what the Democrats did today during the roll call. Exactly, and this this is why I said. But the, the RNC, the, the Republican National... They need to be focused on... Here's what you need to do. Yeah, they need to be focused on... I mean, uh, if you're, if, here I am. If I was a candidate, and I was running, if I was running, here's what I would do. I would make sure that every... Even though I was a nom uh, I, I was a nominee coming in there, right? I would still allow every single vote. Let my opponents have their vote count. Give them and let the people have an opportunity to speak what they want to speak about. Give them an opportunity to do a plug of what their favorite the, the sports team or their or or, or their uh, or, or say like um, uh, Senator Bullock came from Minnesota. You know, let let, let let the person talk about. You know, just give them five minutes, just five minutes to speak. That's all you need. Just five minutes to speak and. And then he counts your vote. That's all you need. You don't need to go on and on and on. The Democrats did it nicely. I mean, they used to do it on and on and on. But now they're, they're becoming more unified the way the Republicans where the Republican are. But Republicans did not let every single vote, I mean, all the way to Washington. I mean, they didn't allow the Vermont. I mean, it was stopped at the, uh, at the uh, South Carolina. It stopped at S. They didn't do anybody else. Though. They didn't end it. They should have had their votes be counted. They really should have. And it, it's a shame on the Republican Party for not doing that. It's a shame. It's a, it's a, it's a shame that I call myself a Republican right now. It's just, it, it's just shameful. Because you're supposed to be unified. You're supposed to not, you're supposed to be, you're supposed to not be uh, um, doing a race card. You're supposed to be united. One nation under God. That means every single vote counts. Every single voice be heard. Every single person who has an opportunity to speak out should be speak out. And don't let them be um, censored the way the Republican Party did during the convention. This is what they did, by the way. Exactly. And the fact that they did that proves to me 
and proved to a lot of people that were and are still behind Ted Cruz that Donald Trump was terrified to allow each state to have their, their voice. Had each state had their voice, Ted Cruz would have won. Right. And Donald Trump knew this. He was terrified. That's why he got as many people behind him in the GOP and the RNC committee to stop the voice of, of America. That's exactly why. Yep, that's what they did. That's what they, it was not, it was not hey. united. It was not united. It was completely divided. And that's exactly what they're doing right now to the Republican Party. They're dividing us. They're dividing us into a, um, into a, 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 into a socialist party, just like the Rep Democrats are. There's no difference between a Republican and Democrat right now. There's no difference. There's no difference. What should be done is the vote that was, was done at the RNC convention. Yeah. Be canceled out. Yep. And all delegates yep. put in a secret ballot. Yep. Every delegate that was on, that was there, put in a secret ballot as to who they really wanted. And if this was done, if this is done, then Ted Cruz would, in fact, be the nominee. There's no doubt about it. But, of course, the GOP and RNC are not going to do that. They're not going to do that because they want, they think Donald Trump is the best person. He isn't. Right, and I'm sorry, I was on. I had to get the door. I had to, uh, I had to guess at the door, so it's fine. That's um, okay. But anyway, um, it, it, it's interesting what's happening to this country. It's it, 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 like I said before. I am ashamed to be to be Republican right now because they didn't allow all the votes to be counted. The Republicans did not do that. The Democrats did. The Repub the Democrats are more united today. Than the Republicans are right now. It's it's it's, exactly. it's, 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 it's incredible. I mean, I'm watching. I, yesterday, um, I, I watched Pocahontas. I watched uh, uh, Elizabeth Warren, uh, and she was tr bashing Trump. I mean, it, it, it was it was it was not that you not uh, it was kind of divided for for the Democrats yesterday, but today they. The, 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 Bernie Sanders said, "I graciously give the nomination to Hillary." I don't hear that from Donald Trump. I don't hear that from uh, from any Republican at all, except for Mr. Ted Cruz. You know, that's the kind of gracious grace that we need in this country. We need it now, and we need it, and we need it here, and we need it now. That's what we need, and that's that's. What when I see both conventions, when you see both conventions and you compare the two, you see what changes if you're as you're a candidate, you watch this, you see it, and you see what you can do to unite, not divide the country. You want to lift people up. You want to feel, you want to have people feel encouraged. This is what this program is about here. This is the uh, most uplifting program that ever that you'll ever hear on national radio television. Seriously. Because we are saying a message, the true message of what, mean, what it means to be an American. We treat everybody the same respect. We don't talk bad about other people. I mean, we, we, all we do is expose what Hillary's doing. We expose what Trump is doing. That's all we do here. We expose of the corruption that's taking place in Washington. And we have serious compassion about that. And we don't say, you know, when, somebody, when somebody's life is taken away, we say life was taken away or no longer with us. You know, that's what we say here. We're very respectful to the families. That's what we do in this program. We do care. All lives matter. This is what we're about. This is why this program's here. 